Hey, what's up tech fans? Welcome back once again to the channel. Okay, so you guys saw yesterday's vid where I talked about the reasons that Intel right now, their platform is kind of eh. Well, there's actually a sixth reason to that. We've seen some of the reviews come in and we're seeing that these chips are running hotter than hell and actually burning up people's systems. So that's reason number six to honestly avoid Intel's latest, you know, this i9 and X299 stuff, just kind of fishy. Now, this video, I want to talk to you guys about how I feel that in 2018, AMD is going to completely dominate the mainstream environment in the computer world. There's just a lot of factors that are geared towards that way. First of all, this big, huge Intel debacle on their higher end stuff. Nobody's really going to want to spend the money and buy into this stuff, especially right now with all the problems that are going on. That's going to attract more and more fans to AMD. Now, we know Intel will fix this stuff in the next few months as they actually prepare, you know, and pull their pants back up from having them caught down. They'll fix those type of things. But by that time, honestly, the damage will be done. I'm just saying the damage will be done. When you see the brand new Epic CPUs that come out and you see the Threadripper come out and all these CPUs that are super high end at half the cost of their highest end CPU that possibly will still be having problems, by Christmas this year, you're gonna see just everybody using the AMD platform and going over to that. There will be the people who still use Intel, obviously. There's gonna be diehards and people, like I've already got comments saying, you know, oh, you've been paid by AMD. I'm just joking, don't be paying. This is just the fucking facts, man. You guys all know them, you know? We're seeing actually more and more problems with the Intel i9 and X299 platform as the days go by. It's not like, you know, we're hearing more good stuff. Like, oh yeah, they fixed it, it's awesome. Oh, this is bitching, totally cool. We're not hearing that. And as the months go by, you're just gonna see more and more fans who are on the Intel side flock over to AMD. Now, when 2018 rolls around next year, you all know that the Vega, the top in Vega, should be out by them. And I said this before in my video, I told you guys this, you guys all said I was full of shit and it was coming out in a month. Where is it? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, whoa, get that light, knock it over. So at that point, you know, they will have their Vega stuff all out. Now, when Vega hits the market, even if it doesn't do, you know, phenomenally like, you know, there's always hype, it doesn't do that well. It just does even just a little bit close to NVIDIA, that's gonna put NVIDIA in the hot spot. And I'll tell you guys why. Most people, when they buy a platform, they either choose like Intel and NVIDIA, or they go all AMD. Well, if AMD has the absolute most kick-ass video cards out there, along with their platform that's doing better than Intel, well, then you're gonna see people switching from NVIDIA too. Now, we haven't seen NVIDIA actually drop their pants. Obviously, like any company, they have their marketing memes and shrams like anybody, that's just business, you know what I mean? You can't really take it personal because everybody's just trying to sell their stuff and do the best marketing job they can, and it's pretty damn ruthless. But I don't think we're gonna see NVIDIA really caught with their pants down, because the truth of the matter is, NVIDIA does have a lot of technology under their roof right now that they're just holding on to, and they're always this way. They probably have cards that are two or three gens ahead. They just don't release them because there's no reason to because they can just release the next card and you know kick back and wait but if they sit on their laurels in 2018 i see even the nvidia fans losing a lot of their fans and moving over to amd because if amd can keep up the pricing they've already got the stability going down it's getting more stable the platform's getting better you know if they have stuff that's all compatible together people like to put their stuff together so if people are using amd cpus amd motherboards you can figure that most of the time they're going to want to put an AMD video card on their system because it just makes sense. I mean, think about it logically. If you dress, you want to match. You don't want to be wearing a polka dot shirt, striped pants, and a, and a hat with sparkle. I mean, that shit just doesn't go together. And I feel that PC fans in their mind, they feel like they should really keep everything all together because it'll run better. And there probably is some truth to that. How much truth, I don't know. I don't have a measuring stick for truth because the bullshit meter is usually bigger, but you guys know what I'm saying. So in 2018, if AMD keeps up the way that they're going, they're gonna completely dominate the mainstream. Now, are they gonna dominate the entire top end? Probably not. Because if you piss NVIDIA off, they're gonna release some cards that'll totally wipe out anything and they'll stick their nose in the air and say, fuck you, AMD. I mean, they're actually known to do this. So if shit gets too bad, you can really see that maybe NVIDIA might even jump a generation ahead on their card to really like, you know what I'm saying, don't take this the wrong way, but I could see NVIDIA, you know, honestly saying, hey, we're gonna put you back in your fucking place, you know, and release that card. If that happens, that could be really one of the only saving graces of the entire thing. 
You know what I'm saying? And obviously for the super duper top end, you know, you'll probably still see people getting Intel CPUs because the Xeon and the market that's you know, making movies and all that stuff, they haven't adopted too much into the AMD segment. But if AMD like can really get their stuff even better, you'll see them more in the 3D market and making movies and all that stuff. And maybe AMD will even start taking over in that segment as well. But for mainstream, even as it is right now, it seems like AMD's really winning. The AMD company has a lot of fans, very loyal, strong supporters out there. You know what I mean? I've always supported them. They've always been the underdog. And, and for me, I've always rooted for the underdog. You know, you always want the underdog to do better. Let's just face it, you know? It's the underdog. You've got the big masked super guy, and then you've got the underdog, you know? So for me, I like to see the underdog win. And seeing AMD come up the ladder and do changes that make their company better is a good thing to me. And I think it's a good thing to you guys too. So like usual, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Do you guys also agree with me that when 2018 gets here, when Vega gets here, that AMD will completely dominate the mainstream segment. I don't know if they'll totally take over the enthusiast segment yet. They'll be a part of that that they're using as well. But I know that mainstream, in my mind and my heart, I feel AMD is going to completely dominate. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech and Tomorrow. Always love to hear your guys' opinions. Um, once again, a special shout out to our sponsor. These guys have a really cool app that you can search everything with all at one time. If you're into that kind of thing, you might want to check it out. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech and Tomorrow. More information will be down below that like button. Peace out.